2022 is flying by and it's April 18th. That means taxes are due and it might feel like time got away from you. So what should you do if you procrastinated and are not ready to file? We asked an accountant some of the important questions you need to know. We start with the basics of tax day. You have two options. You can file your taxes or you can file for an extension. The IRS grants it automatically, but you still have to file the form, which is somewhere around here. And you can extend filing your taxes, but you cannot extend paying your taxes. So if you owe money, you should also send in a payment with your extension. I don't know how much I owe. Well, guess, and guess high. It is better to overpay because anything not paid gets penalties and interest of about 1% a month. Great idea, except I'm broke. I can't even afford to pay my taxes. Do your best, save some money, and then try to pay it off when you file. Look, I really can't get it together right now. Like, really can't. Not tomorrow, not anytime soon. There's a lot going on. I don't think I can file my taxes tomorrow or file for an extension. So what happens then? Then the penalties get worse. But it's my first time. C can I catch a break? There are ways to get out of it. There is actually a program called the First Time Penalty Abatement Program. And if you have a clean record for the last three years, you can call the IRS and try to use that. The problem is trying to call the IRS. Last statistic I saw was 97% of calls don't get answered. Oh boy. Okay, well, what if I just do nothing? I'm no big fish. The IRS. They won't even notice, right? Penalties and interest accrue. It makes it hard to get mortgages. It makes it hard to get student loans. It's just a bad mark if you're ever trying to go out and get credit. So you're not going to jail, but you are, it is gonna cost you. All right, well, you can e-file. That's the easiest way to do it. Or you can put taxes in the mail, but the tax return needs to be postmarked by midnight to avoid penalties.